this is how I do it. Make sure there are no little lumps in there. This is a round brush. And that's the kind of a mark a round brush makes. See how the, there's little raggedness on the edge of this stroke? That's, that's what's happening there. But you can do this. You can put one color down next to another and you can blend them together like this. One of the things you have to remember about China paint and this is different from your glazes and your underglazes. Everything you see here going into the kiln is going to look pretty much exactly like this when it comes out of the kiln. This one, there's a hair right there. See that hair? It was laying across there when I realized it was there. I thought it might have been a crack and I moved it. See the little place where the hair was? That little white line? That's where the hair was. That's a place where there was a little more medium than there was. It wasn't completely mixed up. And so it sort of got fuzzy. See where that hair was? They pointed out yesterday. There's that little place where the uh, one color dispersed into another like that. There's little places where there were grains of paint that didn't get mixed up quite right. And these black spots have appeared in the first firing, uh, the first in the China paint firing. They weren't there before we did this before. And this is what China painters refer to as mildew. I think we're ready to talk about firing and firing temperatures and firing cycles. So the third stroke is a, a stroke where the brush is laid on its side and you kind of put the brush down, bring it up a little bit, and then down again, or down and down. <coughs> I'm going to stand up to do these leaves because I want to swing my arm a little more instead of this little dobby stuff. I'm going to make a mark more like that. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So I think that kind of wraps it up. I think I've showed you pretty much everything I've got to show you. I've told you everything I know and some things I don't and um, given you a lot of ideas and things to do. Now, now it's up to you and I want you to show me something weird. Show me something from some other medium that uh, you can use China paint with. I've heard that that thing you do with watercolor where you sprinkle salt on the wet paint and it makes a grainy effect. I've heard that works with China paint and I've never tried it. You want to try it? Show us some pictures. If you, like I say, if you can figure out a better way to do anything I've showed you how to do, show all of us. We all want to know. And if you can figure out how to do something that I haven't even thought of yet, I want to see it. We all want to see it. So go for it. There's, there's no... China painting has been too rigid for too long. There's been the right way to do it, and that's the only way. And I really want that to change. I want people to just take this and run with it and pretend there's no limits at all. So do it. <laughs>